T-Roy is one of the most feared and top ranked BDs coming from Parkway Gardens, aka O Block. He was known to be King Vaughn's best friend. Plus, this guy only stood at 5-1, planning out each hit and executing them with ease. This guy was a true cold savage. This is Top Trend TV, and this is the criminal history slash hit list of T. Roy. I'll shoot you. No problem. I will shoot you. Yes, I will. So if you see me, it ain't no shit. Leave me the fuck alone. You don't know if I was on your ass, because I ain't going to get the motherfucking, you know, looking at you or none of that. I'm just going to scorn these dumb ass. Scorn, scorn. RP my brothers, man. Scoom, scoom gang. Oh, bro, we stretch gang, scoom gang. You know Because I, mean? I stay with my savages. Well, I'm solo right now. But I got one of my savages. Believe me. What the wrong? Uh -huh. Where the fuck is Shorty Nim at, man? Shorty Nim ain't not here. Oh, Jaja. Where the fuck is Shorty Nim at? Oh, he got puffer. Hey, I don't know, T-Roy. Y'all got to leave out history of T-Roy. I don't know. James Johnson, a.k.a. T-Roy, was born on October 30th, 1993. Born and raised in the most dangerous apartment complex in Chicago, which is named Parkway Gardens, AKA O Block. The Gangster Disciples and Black Disciples have been battling over this territory since the 1990s and was named O Block after a well-respected BD member lost his life named OD. T-Roy had four brothers, one named Slutty, who died in 2020 by police. During the same night King Vaughn died, one named HK, who died in 2017, one named Zell, and Ellie. He also has a sister too named Asia. Despite T-Roy's height, he was known to have a lot of heart, and he was known to be a fighter. But on August 10th, 2011, T-Roy was forced to become a savage because one of his closest friends of the name O.D. Perry was killed by gunfire. And this was one of the first guys that T-Roy was close to that lost his life. This event really changed T-Roy and it was time to get some get back. So him and King Vaughn masked up and went on a drill. King Vaughn was T-Roy's closest homie at this time and King Vaughn already being pretty active in the streets assisted T-Roy on his first hit, April 28th, 2013. On a cool April night around 9.30 p.m., a 21-year-old man was fatally shot, and because nobody saw his body, Marlon Monroe was left in the weeds for hours after being shot. His family said Monroe was thirsty after painting his aunt's Woodlawn building, and he left the work site and walked down to the block to the convenience store. But unfortunately, Monroe never made it to the store because allegedly, T-Roy passing by sprayed multiple bullets into the corner, striking him multiple times, his family said. After being shot, apparently Monroe stumbled and fell into a patch of tall weeds in the empty lot that adjoins the corner shop. This get back wasn't enough for T-Roy because his next target was a guy that had a lot of respect on the GD side. November 9th, 2012, Rodney Stewart, aka Boss Trail, was a well-loved GD, and he was known for being very well with guns. He was the go-to guy for the GDs if your gun ever had a problem. He was also allegedly responsible for the murder of Sherrod Liggins. This guy was a well-loved O-Block member, and apparently Boss Trout shot this guy from across the street with a laser beam. So T-Roy wanted some get back for Sherrod, and he knew that Boss Trout was a high-ranking GD. 6.50 a.m in the 2600 block of West 83rd Street. Rodney Stewart, AKA Boss Trail, was found dead and suffered from a gunshot wound to the head and was taken to the hospital in critical condition where Rodney Stewart later died. Allegedly, T-Roy set him up while he was on his way to see a girl. Rodney Stewart, AKA Boss Trail, knew that O Block was out looking for him because days before his death, he had a bus ticket to go to Iowa in two days. He was an STL member and well respected by FBG Duck. T-Roy's next victim was a guy by the name of Frederick Taylor, aka Stunner. Police say three people was going south near 71st Street when another vehicle approached. Allegedly, T-Roy opened fire at approximately 1 a.m. and a guy by the name of Frederick Taylor, 27 years of age, died. It was not clear what had led to the shooting to the police. And around this time, months later, he would lose his best friend, Jay Money, to gunfire. And this made T-Roy want even more get back. September 2nd, around 2 p.m., Jerome Wood, aka Jay Money, a 21-year-old man was killed 
when he was shot in the head and body in the 6600 block of South Rose Avenue in Woodlawn, and he was pronounced dead on the scene at around 2.27 p.m. T-Roy committed this next murder with his longtime best friend, King Vaughn, and their next target was a girl that was a cold assassin, and she was responsible for a lot of dissing J Money's death on Twitter. She's even allegedly responsible for his shooting. April 11th, 2014, at about 3.30 p.m., Jakira Barnes was standing outside when allegedly T-Roy and King Vaughn walked up on her and started to open fire. Him and T-Roy hit her multiple times, leaving her dead hours after posting her location on Twitter. Jakira Barnes was responsible for multiple old block murders, including O.D. Perry. And I have a King Vaughn story slash hit list on my page, so make sure you go check that out. T-Roy also has been arrested multiple times too. One time on January 9th, 2014, he was pulled over for having a hair light out and driving on a revoked license. He was then arrested for a warrant. On April 14th, 2014, he was arrested again. He was pulled over for not stopping at a stop sign. And when he stopped him and searched him, they found out he had a warrant. Plus, he also had a firearm in his possession, which caught him some time in Cook County Jail. He was then arrested again on November 11th, 2016. This time, it was for trespass, and he did a little time in Cook County Jail. But on February 15th, 2017, T-Roy was shot and killed and apparently when he was shot he was out op shopping and this means he was out looking for an op that he could catch slipping. His target was a guy by the name of TB. He was a rapper and he was known for dissing his ops in his songs as T-Roy was out looking for TB on his block and this right here shows you how true of a savage T-Roy was because he was brave enough to be out by himself looking for ops. But as T-Roy walked inside a shoe store on 71st Street, allegedly FBG Brick spotted him and quickly gave TB the drop on him. And as T-Roy started to walk out the store, TB walked in the store, drawing his gun before T-Roy could draw his and shot him in the chest at about 11.55 a.m. Johnson, aka T-Roy, was pronounced dead. T-Roy's death really hurt a lot of people like King Vaughn, Lil Dirt, and Chief Keith, who he was really close to and seen going to a lot of Chief Keith shows. But none less than a couple weeks later, HK, T-Roy's brother, would then catch TB, and he killed TB right in the same spot T-Roy was killed. And allegedly, TB smiled and said, you got me, right before HK shot him in the head. T-Roy though, was known to have about one son. My prayers and condolences go out to the families that lost their loved ones in this war in Chicago. But that'll be about it for T-Roy. Make sure you like or dislike, comment, and subscribe, and let me know down in the comments who y'all wanna see next. And as always, stay blessed and stay well. Yeah, yeah, I'm out. Two, two, you, you, do, do, boo, boo.